What's going down, y'all? It's the Wake Up Crew, Ray G, joined as always by my brother Jay Rich, here to break down some NBA prop plays over on Prize Picks for the Saturday, October 29th, 2022 NBA slate. Jay, we had a good night last night. It was a good night over here on the channel for you the free that. picks, the free plays. What did we do last night? Give us the recap. So we had a clean sweep on our core plays. Boyan Bogdanovich and Pascal Siakam over their first half fantasy scores both cashed. And then I talked about Anthony Edwards and Yusuf Nurkic. Anthony Edwards for his points plus rebounds and Yusuf Nurkic over 36 and a half for his fantasy score. And he went way over. Yep. So good looks for us last night. But Ray, it's a new day, new slate, new, new games. Let's dive into it. The model's ready to go. We got some plays for the people. Let's get into it. For all the high-flying action, take a step back and relax. It's time to count that money, the NBA props, no look any further. You know what time it is, presented by Prize Picks, NBA props, let's count that money, man. All right, Jay, let's go ahead and go back to it. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm back to the first half plays, and I'm rolling with my man from Dallas. Let's scroll on down versus OKC. Luka Doncic's first half points, more than 15 and a half. Jay, I like it in the first half. You see what Luka has done this season in the first half. I mean, it's it's automatic. Usage rate in the first half, so far number one in the NBA, 40% usage rate for Luka in the first half. Over his last five games, he's averaging 20.2. His lowest outing down here, I believe this was a preseason game versus Utah at 17, but last game versus Brooklyn, he had 18 in the first half. I like Luca's first half points, but I also like um, his total points, Jay. Whether it's you, you I, I just, I'm all over Luca right now. The usage rate is insane. You see, they don't have the fantasy score up right now, but he's averaging 33.8, 41, 37, 32, 35 so far this young NBA season. I like the points, but I'm rolling with them in the first half to get out early on OKC, more than 15 and a half points for Luka Doncic. Yeah, I'm with you. I mean, at the end of the day, we have to remember that this is Oklahoma City here. They are always on blow it alert when they play a good team. And that's why you would take the first half for Luka Doncic. Like you mentioned, he did hit the over in four straight games this season. And he probably will do it again against Oklahoma City. They don't play much defense from the point guard position. We'll see if Shea, Shea Gilgers Alexander really gives him fits. At the end of the day, I'm with you. It's Luka Doncic. You just roll with him because he's been so phenomenal this season. And to the fantasy score guys who like to play that, you probably want to take it, but again, it's the potential for limited minutes, yep. blowouts, and that's why the first half is the much better play. But Ray, one of our favorite plays in the model is actually John Collins' rebounds. Now, he is playing Milwaukee, so that is a slight concern because obviously Giannis is a rebound machine, but 7.5 is a pretty modest number. You can see here on DraftKings, it is at 7.5, juice to the over, minus 135, and we talk about this a lot. We always like to look at what sportsbooks have for their numbers yep. because if they're very heavily juiced to the over like in the case it is for john collins we like to look at those numbers and take them because on price picks we are getting an edge that way if we take plus money bets we are actually losing we'll money it. yep taking negative bet negative money bets we are actually making money and getting positive expected value on price picks so one of our highest edges to the over obviously john collins has gone over this number a lot lately Ray, I think this is a smash play for John Collins. Even against the Bucks, you see they are still allowing the fifth most rebounds per game, 15.3, to opposing power forwards. Now, it's probably because Giannis is labeled a center, but even still, they're going to allow those rebounds, and I do like John Collins to go over in this one. Yeah, and let's pull it up, and let's just show people, um, you know, on prospects over John Collins' last five. I mean, 10, 11, 10, 13, and 8. I'm with you. It's the highest, uh, the highest probability of an over in our model, and... We're getting the juice, right? We showed that minus 135 on DraftKings. We only take bets that are priced, you know, minus, you know, we're looking for 125 and below, you know, for, for those bets because yep. we have to two pick power play those over on prize picks. So I'm with you. I like John Collins more than seven and a half rebounds in this one versus the Bucks, even though it's a tough matchup. Jay, uh, I know we both like Tyrese Maxey. We're still waiting on word on Joel Embiid. Yep. I don't know if he's in or out. But walk us through the thought process with this play with Tyrese Maxey's points. Well, with Maxey, right, you're looking up against Chicago, right? So we'll probably see a lot of Ayo DeSumo or potentially DeMar DeRozan. But I feel like DeMar will probably match up more with Harden in this one. Again, he's a bigger body guy. And I think Ayo can cover and use his lateral quickness to cover Maxey. But you talk about Embiid being out. I mean, we saw it last yeah. night against the Raptors. 
Maxi completely took over that game. Yes. And I could see him doing it again tonight. He's young. He's fresh. So you're not worried about, you know, potentially on a back-to-back, -back, things like mm -hmm. that. But Chicago has played surprisingly good defense, right? Now they are ranked 18th in opponent uh, rating allowed to shooting guards. Again, that's probably depending on who's guarding who because it might be DeMar. It could be Zach Levine. It could be AO, depending on how they ultimately play this defense. But Maxi's a guy that's not afraid to shoot it, right? You see it's minus 120 on the books. We have it edged to the over. And I think to your point, you kind of wait to see if Embiid is out. If he isn't out, you probably want to stay away from this one. But I do still like it because we know he's going to put up points. And the Sixers have literally no bench. So they are relying on him to play heavy minutes. And I know you even thought about tanking his first half yeah. because his usage is so high in the first half yes. on top of that. Yeah, first half, he is number one in the NBA in minutes uh, per first half. 19.7 minutes per game in the first half for Maxi. I don't anticipate him dropping another 27 in the first probably half. Not. Uh, probably not going to do that. But if Embiid is out, uh, the confidence is there. I would definitely take a Maxi over uh, his first half points. And Jay, you like the total points, right? You like the uh, the 21 and a half for Maxi. Full yeah, game. just in case, just in case they get after him early, you know, okay. I, I I know that people like those first half plays. I do kind of like to have the security of just yeah. in case they have a bad first half, come okay. back in the second half, have that confidence to keep shooting. But um, I, I think another play, Ray, that we have to talk about because every day we keep taking it. But it's Tyrese Halliburton, man. Like, how yeah. do we not talk about Tyrese Halliburton every day? Um, one of the, our favorite bets right now is the points, right? So 19 and a half. Yes. Luca obviously just dropped 40 on them. So yes. that may be slightly skewing the data. But at the end of the day, Ty they need Tyrese to score points to win games. And Brooklyn is just not getting it done on the defensive end. Whether you want to take his points at 19 and a half or you want to take his points plus assists, both those plays we've taken a lot. They're probably going to be 28, 29 and a half or so. Um, on prize picks, I believe he's at 10 assists now, finally. Yeah, let's go and even that one on the books, on the books, it's minus, on the books right now, it's nine and a half, but minus 150 to the over. Tyrese is just destroying these numbers almost every single night. You see, prize picks has it up all the way at 31 and wow. a half. Wow. wow. For his points plus assists. See, they're not playing around now. And I think that's when you can pivot to the points. He does a lot more damage in the second half. So don't take a first half on no. Tyrese Halliburton. But minus 130 on DK right now, that number probably does move like a little it. bit. And I do want to point this out to people. Um, depending on the book that you look at, when we see those picks on prize picks start to hit, you know, minus 135, minus 140, that's when you see those flips to the round numbers in the 20s or the, like in the case of John Collins, I could see him going to 8.0 before the end of the day, right? Easy. It's already minus 135. Usually the inflection point that we see is right around minus 140. When you see minus 140 prize picks, it's like, okay, yep, time to flip the line, time to move it. And that's when you lose that value. So you do want to get that number early, but I want people to understand that when you're looking at some of these lines on the sports book, when you get to that minus 130, minus 140 range, that's when prize picks tends to start to flip these lines over. And so that's why we're looking at John Collins. And even we talk, we can talk about Malik Monk. He's a guy that, yeah. well, he, his numbers look good. The minutes aren't quite there. So we're not all after that one. But I did want to mention Steph Curry playing in Charlotte. He's had some massive games in Charlotte, averaging 30 points per game. He's just been a monster so far this season. Not a core play, but one I was considering yeah. flexing because I do think it is a good matchup. Minus 125 on the books. Only 26 and a half is the prop right now. It could could go up. Um, Steph playing in Charlotte is always a fun environment for him, kind of coming home. So I do like that matchup as well against the Charlotte Hornets. Yeah, so we're not going to green light these plays right here. We won't green light Malik Monk or Steph Curry. I kind of like Curry tonight. I know the data. This is it's not, it's the, not quite there. It's not, not a core there. play. It's not quite there. But I, I, I do trust St Steph. And 26, 27 points is slight work for him versus yeah. a Charlotte team that just got cooked. But the core four in our model, John Collins, rebounds more than seven and a half. Tyrese Halliburton, more than 19 and a half points. Luca's points. Jay, with Luca for you, would you rather go first half or total the, the full game? I would take the first half, right? Okay. I just, I think that you have to, if you're going to go after the points, uh, probably first half points or fantasy score. I think both yeah. are probably in play. I, I, uh, but just... Again, the blowout potential is high against OKC, so you don't necessarily want to make a full play. But again, Luke is also a guy that can drop 30 in three quarters, yeah. no problem, yeah. right? So it, it does go both ways. In yeah, that 30 is low. 31 points for Luka is low. He's on, he's playing out of his mind right now. So these are the four we like. And then Tyrese Maxey, his points, if Embiid is out. If Embiid is out, Tyrese Maxey's a play. Price still loading a lot of stuff up. We wanted to get this out to you all early. But as always, uh, we don't make you pay for picks. We walk you through our process. We show you our model. We give you the data. So take what you like, leave what you don't like. 
All we ask, Jay, is that people hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, like the content, comment below what you guys have found. And if we find anything else throughout the day, we will post that in the pinned yep. comments underneath the video. So, as always, if you tail, give prospects hell. And if we fail, do not bail. We'll be back tomorrow with more NBA picks. We might do something with the NFL tomorrow morning. We already dropped an NFL video, so check that out. We'll see. Uh, but enjoy the games this evening. Good luck and good night. We're out of this thing. Peace.